there's this statistic. I mean, if you live long enough, essentially prostate cancer is going to affect men at well, some it's, point, right? It's um, it's one in seven men in their lifetime will have prostate cancer. So it's a you know you're at a significant risk. It's one of the top male cancers um, that there are. Um, we'll lose about thirty thousand men to prostate cancer this year in the United States. And the sad thing is, we don't have to lose anybody. It's a disease when you detect it early enough, um, you can get treatment, and, and it's about a hundred percent cure rate if you detect it early enough. So, what is the biggest challenge in in screening for prostate cancer? Is it a macho thing? Is it a fear no? No, with I'll men? tell you exactly what it is. Men are bulletproof. Okay? <laughs> we don't we don't think it's not going to happen to us. Um, you know, we like to drive our cars fast. We like to eat fatty food. We like to do things that we know are bad for us, and we, because it won't, it'll get the other guy. It won't get us, right? <laughs> right. And and when it comes to prostate cancer, most men, you know, first of all, they they fear the um, the, the dreaded digital rectal exam. Right. Okay. And the reality is, you know, we're here screening tonight for prostate cancer, and it's a simple blood test. There's a, a PSA test that's out there, and there are better tests coming along, but the PSA test allows you to get a heads up that, hey, maybe I should be talking to my doctor, maybe I should be getting other tests done. Yeah, because the PSA is essentially what a hormone, right? That it, it's a it's it, a prostate specific antigen, and um, a doctor discovered this, um, and it really the test itself became um, widespread in the early 90s, and the death rate for prostate cancer is down about 40 percent since then, which is fantastic. The problem is, is that guys just don't go to the doctor.